Hey, g'day, good morning. Well, welcome the beautiful Patonga. There's our little friends up there, the pelicans. Well, it's a nice day. Uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day for painting. So yeah, I've come to Batonga, just let me get me cuppa. Get me cuppa. And me phone. Give us a sec, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, so how you going? Hope you all had a good week. Well, as I said, it's a beautiful day this morning. It's going to be a cracker of a day. Anyway, we're at Patonga. What I'm going to do is going to head to Patonga Creek at the back there. And I want to paint the golden light. The only thing is I was hoping for um, some low tide, but it's actually high tide. Oh, there's a um, blues festival that's going to be here. I don't know if it's today or... Well, coming up anyway, that'd be interesting. Anyway, look at that. Look at that beautiful fog out there. Those mountains are lit up foggy. Beautiful um, Patonga here. This place here, the boathouse, it goes off. I'll tell you how those owners will be making a fortune. It's always packed. Anyway, I'll say hello to me little mates here. Wow, look at this fella. Don't you dare drop one of your bombs on me. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> and have a look at this guy. He's having a bit of a trim. He's having a bit of an old trim, this guy. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ain't he nice? Ooh, ooh. Oh, he's feeling all chirpy. He must have ate a big bonito or something this morning. Ah, oh, nice. Beautiful big pelican. Isn't that beautiful? I better watch where I'm walking, otherwise I'll, I'll end up in the water and you guys will end up coming in the water with me. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna take it easy and don't um, have one of those uh, YouTube errors. <laughs> anyway, we'll just take a little stroll along the boat ramp here. Or the wharf, actually. There's a lot of um, fishermen that live down here and I was talking to one guy one day had a had a delivery for him and he, um, he was telling me he was like a third generation and he would have been like 60 so that's a long time here in this town at Patonga I can smell smoke like someone's had a fire. Beautiful. So yeah, I've got all the atmosphere I need now. You know, like, you get a feel when you get to a place and you want to paint sometimes you just get there and you rush right into it and you know and you and you paint and you wonder why your painting doesn't turn out as i was saying last week you know you've got to feel it so you know even though i'm not going to paint here i'm going to paint 500 meters down that road down there at the back there at the creek um you know you've got to you've got to feel the atmosphere so that's the plan is get a bit of atmosphere and then head down head down there and then find something worth painting and then put it on canvas i'm sure you know a lot of the great artists would have done that so yeah anyway let's head uh we'll just see this guy having his last final um getting ready for the big show oh he's looking good oh he's looking nice and fresh ain't he <laughs> Beautiful, just that. I hold my hat as I go past. <laughs> he looks 
cuddly. I want to give him a cuddle. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's head down the back there, jump in the car and head head down down the back of the creek there and get set up and wait for this beautiful sunrise to come. And I know it's high tides, but hopefully I can get a position on the edge of the shore. We can paint some golden light. Okay, I've got my spot here behind me. It's got to keep keep the voice down a little bit as there's some houses there and I don't want to bother anyone. But let's have a look. This is what we're looking at. I can paint from back there. But when I come along here, this looks a bit more pleasing. There's a lot of activity with the boats and all that. But if I can put an impression of some boats and that in, um, I think we can get a decent painting, maybe from a position of, come up here a bit, yeah maybe something like this would be better, so yeah I'll move my gear down to here, now that sun is coming through the fog now, so I've got to hurry up, and I've got to get something happening quick because I don't want to lose this golden light. Once it hits its highest peak of um, strength in this tree, that's what I want to capture. So yeah, I've got to get quickly get set up, get ready for that moment, and then capture that. Okay, I'll get the wash in place now.
There's some beautiful casting shadows coming down through here. I'm going to get them in. That's what's really going to make the painting, the shadows. Just that sun keeps popping in and out. Just need the sun at full strength, just for a few minutes, so I can get lay down the, the basics. So yeah, just waiting, waiting for that sun to really hit that grass there. And until then, I'll just have a cup of tea, I think. I'm using Scarlet Lake, Elysian Crimson, Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, um, Ultramarine Blue. I've all grabbed Cobalt Blue and Oxide of Chromium and Titanium White. I also, I will use a Cad Yellow. Okay, I'm ready now. That that light's really hidden. The um, this, or the light and the shadows really hidden here. So I'm going to get the shadows of the painting in first. So let's get started. So there's my composition. I'll get the shadows in place first, and then we'll we'll go jump straight to the sky and work our way back.
okay now what I'm gonna do is get those across the water there across the creek get that mountain in along there Okay, what I'm doing now is, so I've just got the impression of some boats in there. I'm going to work on this area. There's a lot going on in there, but I'm just going to keep it dark and simple with a few highlights.
I'm just going to mix the um, two tones for the tree, the leaves, the leaves in the tree. So I've got uh, cad yellow, a bit of ultra and blue, lizard crimson, um, and oxide of crum chromium. That's the first one, and then I'll do a highlight of this colour. Okay, what I've got to do now is really get this light into play, the light and the shadow with the um, the grass here. I'm not finished here, I'll, I'll have a look at that at the end.
okay I'm happy with it to finish it off I'm just going to put a little, little bit of this these um flowers in these wild flowers a little bit of that color in just just here and there and uh not overdo it and then um yeah it should be done using cad orange and cad yellow a bit of titanium white Add a bit more yellow on it. Too warm for the middle distance. I'll just erase that off a bit. More tiny things, tiny bit of sand on the edge. Yeah, beauty. Okay, so I've done the painting at beautiful Patonga Creek. Aren't these wild flowers behind me so beautiful? I don't know what they're called, so if you know what they're called, jot it down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Let's look at the painting. I'm quite happy with what I've done um, with the tree itself. I don't know about the shadows, if they're dark enough or not. I suppose I'll have a look at it when I um, get home. But yeah, overall the brush strokes and all that, I'm quite happy with it. I'm happy with the tones and I think the color color choice is good. I've used a limited palette. So yeah, tell me what you think and, um, and I'll catch you in the next video very soon. Thanks for coming along. See ya.